SD card, something simple, but for vlogging, it may be more important than you realize. First thing is, I recommend getting one of these little covers, uh, these little boxes. I can get 12 SD cards in here. The waterproof is tight. I can put a loop around my neck or tie it to my bag. Uh, the next thing is, when you're recording something and then put it on your laptop or your PC, if you keep this in your bag, not with your computer or with your camera. If you go out and forget that it's in your laptop and you always carry at least one spare, of course, um, you always have at least one SD card with you. I recommend having three as a minimum. Um, cheap, cheerful and keeps it safe. Next thing is SD cards have different classes because um, you may not be aware of this and if you're buying a new camera or something you need to be aware of this class two for class two is uh, a normal speed for a standard video recording four and six is HD and full video recording class 10 is high speed which is full HD recording still images and continuous shooting and then above all those you've got UHS speed uh, with, well UHS they call it UHS, yeah, ultra high speed uh, class, which um, is UHS 1, UHS 2, which is for your 4K and 2K video recording. Why am I telling you all this? You're probably going, hang on a minute, but I don't know which one I need. This is why you need to check your camera manual, see what it actually likes. Now, what's, what's the big deal with all this? It's very simple. Class 2 has a two megabyte writing speed. That's all the bit, bit you need to know. You do, I mean, it's a serial data writing speed, but you just need to know class two means two megabyte writing. Class four is four megabyte writing. Class six, six megabyte writing. Class 10 is 10 megabyte writing. And then the UHS, the ultra high speed, um, Mark one is actually 10 megabyte. And Mark three is 30 megabyte. It's, it's gone up a few notches. That's the only bits you need to know. So you've got your SD card. Like I said, get at least two. Ideally, you want three. Get yourself a little box to keep them in. And make sure you've got the right speed to suit your camera. So it is worth looking in your manual and checking that you've got the right um, matching SD card for your camera. Because it could actually affect your recordings and images. All right, thanks for watching.